Hi, welcome back. As you can see, we're still editing the same document we were when showing the Layer Tools plugins. But this time, there's a new task ahead of us. A task that could easily ruin your day if you don't have the right tools. And the task is text proofs and customer edits. You've got this nicely laid out page, but the customer needs to approve it and make some changes in the text while doing so. Unfortunately, this particular customer either doesn't have InDesign or simply can't be trusted with the laid out document. So you go ahead and send a PDF of the page to be, to be checked. And now what happens? Well, either the fax rings or the email comes and with dreadful expectations, you open something like that. A document that tells you that your customer can draw a straight line to show where he needs the picture to be cropped, that he can't write legibly, and apparently that he drinks a lot of coffee which is in the document. Fortunately, you can call your customer and teach them about the new tools in Acrobat and Acrobat Reader, the tools for comment and markup, sticky note, text edits, highlight text tool, underline cross out, and all these called and text boxes and clouds and arrows. So you receive another PDF. This time you can see the PDF create, it has legible comments and you can see where to crop the images and you can see which text needs to be underlined, what needs to be crossed out and what needs to be edited. So now you can just rush out and buy a second screen and spend the night scrolling in the PDF and also in the InDesign document, searching for each word to be checked and corrected. Well, this still doesn't sound too easy, right? And I said it's going to be easy, so we'll make it easy. As you can see, we have this panel called Annotations, which is under Window Annotations. Well, if you do not have it in your InDesign, you need to go first to dtptools.com and download the Annotations plugin. Annotations plugin now shows an empty panel, but this will change because we go to import annotations, click on browse, choose the right PDF. Since we've only exported this one page, we need to match the pages in InDesign. So we tell InDesign to start to match the first page of the PDF with the fifth page of the InDesign document and to import sticky notes, highlighted text, text edits and drawing markups. So we hit import and as you can see everything that was in the PDF, the sticky note comments and the text highlights callout boxes is now in InDesign. You can also see that you have this sorted list of different edits and annotations and when you click on the sticky note you can see that there is a comment that you need to read. You can also go to panel menu and do uh, and switch to select uh, show selected pop-ups only and you can see that the sticky note now displays next to the document. You can also see the comments for the text highlights like this and you can see the text edits and with one clicks one click in the panel you can apply them to the document so you don't even have to type anything you just go through all these different edits and you approve them or you can simply say oh I don't like this edit I will not approve it you can trash the notes or you can create new sticky notes by yourself the annotations plugin which will allow you to do all this will be released as a public beta before the end of June 2011 so you can just go ahead download the public beta and we're eager to hear your comments and feature requests so we can make this plugin even better.